So Goldman Sachs have a list of 40 stocks that they believe have at least a 34% upside right now for 2023. I've gone through them and I'm going to share the data with you. I don't think they're right on some of them. Some of them they think will go up 100% and I do think they're right on some of them. So I'm going to give you my analysis of which ones. Let's go through this and look at their full list which I'm going to take you through throughout this presentation. So grab a pen and paper and pause and replay if you need to. Now Salesforce they've got a target on that of 126%, okay? Do I think it's feasible? Well, assuming they've looked at the fundamentals, let me look at the technicals. If I look at this, the monthly chart of the company and look at the moving average convergence divergence, which is an indication of momentum, it's not a guarantee, I can well see that's bottomed and could well move in that direction, which is obviously what they're thinking, though they might not have looked at this. It needs to get above that downward support, though. So with this one, I'm going to give that a thumbs up, and I think, yeah, they might be right. Maybe not 126% in the year, but something solid. Mosaic, they think 109%. Okay, so we're going to move through some of these a little bit quicker. Now, I don't think so. I think that's falling down. I think it's fallen below the support. I think Goldman Sachs are wrong on Mosaic. Warner Brothers, they think it can double in a year. It has indeed based somewhat. It started to rise already. Presumably they think it can go to 26, which is only about here, which is only, uh, what, nine months ago where it was. I'm going to give them a yes on Warner Brothers. I should make a note of this because I'll be buying into some of these. Expedia, 97% they think. Well, it's sort of flattening. It's not quite, I don't think, but it's sort of flattening. So presumably they think that's a base. Again, they sort of are saying that's going to double. They think an all-time high. I'm going to give them a yes on that one. Amazon, 96%, call it doubling. Now, I've already put what I think the projections will be. This is where we are that's, it's still falling a little bit. There's a bit of an argument on this. I had an email from somebody saying, hang on, Arpish, that's not based. It's falling. Well, you're right. Uh, it's sort of trying to form a base. It might drop back down again. But anyway, that's the angle we're looking at. 50%. You might want to wait if you're risk averse. I'm going to give them a yes on this one. A sort of yes, but I don't think it's going to be 100% return in a year. Uh, I think it's probably going to be a 50% return on this one a year. I'm not going to do two times leverage ETFs on Amazon yet, though I might, because it's still falling on the MACD, so I'm going to wait on that one, but I hold it, so I'm going to continue holding it. Match Group, 68% return, that's rising, however, this has been falling at a fair clip, and even while that's been rising in the past, the price has still been falling, so I'm going to give them a no on Match. Moderna, 68% rise. Again, forming a base. It's formed a base. That means from 192, they think it's going to go closer to 300, which means, well, they're really saying an all-time high, aren't they, uh, on Moderna. I'm going to give them a yes on this one. Remember, I've left the fundamentals to them. I'm just looking at the technicals. Tesla, 66% rise. I'm going to give them a yes on this because I think it could potentially be even more within the year going up there. This is still falling, so I don't think it's going to start that upward journey quite yet. We're a bit premature, Mr. Goldman and Mr. Sachs, on that one. But I'm going to give them a yes on that one. Trimble, 66%, they think, up. That's still falling. So I think that could be the start of a base, but I suspect it'll do this. That'll be the base there. And then 66% up on that should take us to around there, which isn't that much of a rise up from where it's been. So I'm going to give them a yes on that. Service now, 64%. I've already got this on another list, and I'm already going to give them a yes on it for all the same reasons I've already highlighted. Hasbro, 60% on the rise. Yes, uh, that's looking like it's about to turn. You can see similarities here, can't you, with a lot of them. Bases forming, 66% of a price which is currently at it roughly... 66 should take us roughly to about there well a little bit higher about here-ish which is not even the high so i'm going to give them a yes on hasbro live nation entertainment 60 percent rise that's falling sharply but it could well i think it's a bit premature this one uh but yeah it could get us to again they're all only saying an all-time high aren't they 
uh, on that, you cheat at Goldman. That's what you're really just saying there. CF Industries, call it a 50% rise. We seem to have a base there, but that's falling sharply. I'm going to give them a no on this. I'm going to give them a no, but a tentative no, because I can see how this can easily go like this as this moves up. Uh, and uh, a 50% rise would take them to about 120, which would mean off here, uh, which means more an extension of this upward trend. You're supposed to learn from these videos as well. I'm going to give them a no, though. PayPal, 55% rise. I already hold it. I'm going to continue holding it. Uh, it's close to what I've said, but I've taken longer. They seem to think it'll come sooner than I've said. So fair enough. PayPal, first solar, 50% just above rise. Ooh, well, I think they think that's going to continue. This is looking a bit toppy. I don't think so. I'm going to give them a no on that. Insight, call it a 50% rise. Seems to just be going sideways, so I'm going to give it a no. Alphabet, 50% rise. Well, you got that strong downward trend. It's not quite bottomed yet, so it'd have to do this and then go up. And a 50% rise on that would take you up to about 150. Well, they're talking about an all-time high on Alphabet. I hold it. I'm going to continue holding it. Generac, I've had it in the past. I got rid of it. It's now collapsed, and it looks like... Not quite yet. Whilst the price has started moving up, this MACD hasn't. MACD is lagging indicator anyway. So with this one, I'm going to give them a yes on this. I think it's going to do it. Tyson Foods, 50%. Mm, still falling, but the price has started rising. If you're more risk-loving, you get, a, get in a bit sooner. I'm going to give them a yes on Tyson Foods. Vertex Pharmaceuticals. What have we got? That's toppy and falling. I think they're arguing this trend's going to continue. I'm going to say no on this one. Sorry, I'm not going to let you have it. Lincoln National, 50% return. That's falling sharply, okay? I'm going to give them a no on this, I'm afraid. I don't like the angle at which that's been falling. Intuit uh, is, well, I've drawn what I think could well happen. It's still going lower. It's forming a base. I think it's going to go at this level for a while before it even thinks about going up to a 600, which would be the all-time high, which is what clearly they think is going to happen. I'm going to give them a yes because that does look fairly flat uh, at the moment. So that's going to be a yes. Solar Edge Technologies, been on my radar before. It's still sort of dribbling along sideways. I think I'm going to give them a yes on that. I think it will will do that. EQT Corporation, 44% target, no. I think that's dropping off a bit of a cliff. I'm going to go no. Okay, take to interactive, 44%. <laughs> Look at that. What a mess. It's still falling sharply. You can see what happens when they're falling sharply. When they're falling sharply, even the supports go. That's still falling. I know you might think it's creating a base here. I, I just, no. Sorry, I just don't feel it in my guts. M phase, 43%, but it's coming off a cliff. I think that they're wrong in thinking that's going to continue upwards. I think it's going to go lower. So end phase is out. Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, 42% is what they think. I think that's paused and it may well dip again. So I'm going to say no to that one. Global Payments, okay. Know the company well, used it in the past. It's got a base here starting to rise. And you can see where that's a bit of a stop loss. A sort of a, a, a sort of a base it's gone below it it's now seeming to go above it and now might be the time so i'm going to say yes adobe 40 percent rise and i did have it in the past it's sort of not quite got that base yet but you can see it's trying i think it'll go sideways for a bit before it could even think about moving higher sealed air 40 percent no it's too high i mean we're waiting too long i can see how the prices have started rising and you might as well you went into adobe why not this one <sighs> It's a close one. Okay, I'm going to say yes and no. I mean, go on, I'll say yes. Um, but I just beware of that, okay? I think it'll happen over the course of the next 12 months. Alaska Air, 40%. Oh, it's going sideways, sideways, sideways. It's been on their list and everybody else's, I know, for ages, and it's just not been delivering. Could this be the year? I'm going to say yes. TE, 40%. Yes, because it's based, based, and 40 is not that much to go up. Okay, Raymond James Financial, 38% upward trend, general upward trend, except this does not look positive. So am I going to overrule what I'd normally say and say, no, I think it'll hold. I think it will. I think it will. And I think it'll continue upwards. I think financials look strong. Meta platforms, 
37% rise, yes. It's got a base, it's already started rising. You can see which direction I think it's gonna go in. Iron Mountain, 36%. No, sorry. Walt Disney, yes, because I've already got it. I think it's there, and I think they think 100%, I think, what I've just said. United Airlines, 35%, they think. Oh, obviously they think, um, yes, given that Alaskan Airlines is as well, I think this could be it. Discover Financial, Financial's as strong as I already said, forming a bit of a base, uh, and I think that could be it, yeah. Why not? That's the one. American International Group, AIG 34. And I'm going to say no. Republic Services 34. Well, it's got something of a base there, but it's falling off a cliff. I think it'll fall below that, and I think Goldman Sachs are wrong on that. None of these are on my approved filtered list, which is a very stringent criteria of value, growth, income, cash flow, dividends. However, I've said yes on the basis of what I call special situations which come up now and again. So that's the basis on which I have said that. If you haven't already, do have a look at my campaign for a million.com which has tons of resources, books, videos, articles, everything to teach you. Do feel free to get in touch, do like, subscribe whatever's around you on the screen at the moment. Thank you all uh very much. Oh, and do have a look at uh, on campaignforamillion.com my latest webinars as well which go into a lot more detail and explain some of the education behind all of this thank you very much for joining me on this i hope you found it educational and informative thank you very much <laughs>